Hello everyone, I'm Mitchell Ryan Darcy and welcome to a very, 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 I was going to say special, but revealing unboxing video. Because <laughs> in this video, I reveal to you my f first guilty pleasure movie or show. <laughs> and because up to this point in my life, I'm 28 years old. I have to say, looking back on all the movies and shows I love, I don't, I don't really have a guilty pleasure show. There's movies I love that, you know, Southland Tales, Master of Disguise, movies such as Mamma Mia, Repo the Generic Opera, or Genetic Opera, Phantom of the Opera, the Gerard Butler version, Sucker Punch, like, sh movies that are like, they, they could be considered guilty pleasures, but it's like, to me, I'm not really guilty about any of it. I'm like, I acknowledge I love these shows and don't really care, in a sense. So it's like, it's never really been, oh, it's a guilty pleasure, or I try to use that sort of, it's not really an excuse or anything, but like, I love them. I love, I love these. These aren't guilty pleasures. I acknowledge I love these out loud and out proud, all that jazz. Um, there's a lot of shows and movies when I was a kid watching that I loved, uh, like SpongeBob, Powerpuff Girls, uh, Lazy Town, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. I don't know if anyone remembers that. Shows I love and I still love watching today as an adult so it's like kind of grew up on these shows so i'm not really embarrassed none of them are really like guilty pleasures or anything like that but last year i discovered a show i didn't really hear about it until until i heard that it got canceled or not canceled but like taken off why because they were airing the uh the show and I think it was the third or, epi or fourth episode. That's when they this show got literally like taken off of Fundimation, um, Amazon, Crunchyroll, whatever. Like various official like sites. <laughs> and that's when I was like, okay, I have to check out this show. Because it's like, if major show... Like, it, it seems like it's an, an official production... An adaptation of a manga or, yeah, manga series. But before I continue and open this up, let's have some illumination. This show is very, very cultured. So I had to dress appropriately, <laughs> I guess you could say. My channel is crossing into totally unknown territory by doing this video so it's gonna be very interesting a i don't know how the hell i'm gonna edit this b i don't know how the hell um youtube is gonna like or dislike this and it's gonna be very interesting to see what this does to my channel <laughs> but anyways i had to order this from right stuff anime uh because this show believe it or not when it got canceled from everything, um, I mean, the show was complete, if I remember correctly, but they just weren't airing it anywhere legally. Uh, so in order for me to check out the show, I had to go to some, uh, let's just say, mm, some more adult-oriented sites to actually watch this show. And judge for myself. And after watching it, uh, I was like, I actually really like this show. Like, it's not a great show. It's not a amazing show. It's not a masterpiece. Well, I mean, you could argue it might be a masterpiece. But <laughs> as soon as I heard that there was an announcement for a Blu-ray, a special nice steelbook of it, I'm like, I have to get it just because I don't like it when it's like if a studio goes through the trouble of making something and it's like gets either heavily censored heavily edited or it's not what the true version of what the product originally was going to be 
it's kind of like I don't like that. So it's like it was kind of like something where I'm like I wanted to jump on just because a there might not be a second season, and b I like the show. I went all out. I picked up basically every version or re official release thing that I can find related to it on for sale on the site. But obviously, I'm going to start off with the Steelbook. There it is. <laughs> If the thumbnail I decided to make didn't give it away that I like, enjoy, and maybe love in a sense, <laughs> is Interspecies Reviewers. This show is a sex comedy that basically has our main characters going around to different brothels in a fantasy world setting and trying out the merchandise is that a nice what censored way of putting it or is it uh that, that that seems quite questionable but yes uh they're basically reviewing different species of women and uh it came with a booklet but the booklet uh as you can tell does not fit in steelbook but uh, and so apparently this is the uncensored cut on blu-ray for north america i hope there's the english dub and subtitles as well as the original audio as well as um various other things it's gonna suck if this it turns out this release doesn't have any subtitles <laughs> or English. <laughs> Here is the bonus booklet for it. Um, yeah, can I even show this? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> is there even nudity? There, I mean, it's kind of nudity. Well, it's like very heavily implied nudity in a sense, depending on which character you're looking at. <laughs> And yes, let's, I'm afraid to open this up, but I remember I'm going to be at, ooh, there's, there's storyboards in here. Cool. Is it all storyboards? Oh, wow. Hold on. Uh, I f keep forgetting I have to wait for my camera to autofocus. Once again, I'm going to probably try and get a better camera soon for unboxing, but, uh, but is it, is it is it literally just all storyboards here? Oh, you also got uh, some pictures, settings, and oh, background art. Oh, I should I should look at contents, opening storyboards. So is this? I think this might be. This might be a play by play of the opening credits. To, <laughs> uh, to the show. That's 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 pretty cool because. Uh, Look at this! All this, all this work that they put into the show, and it could have been lost forever if it wasn't for, I think, critical critical mass video for going all out and actually supporting releasing this. Thank you. Open this up. We got a, I believe, original soundtrack <laughs> CD. I'm just stating the obvious at this point. And then we got disc, two discs of Blu-ray of episodes 1 to 6 and then episodes 7 to 12. I'm curious to see what they put on the back here. So they just sort of put the titles and a pretty nice uh, pink uh, design, I guess you could say. But uh, it's cool. Comes with the soundtrack. Soundtrack? What, and, hey, the show was pretty good soundtrack. Wise. 
Apparently, the show is not going to get a second season, but they did mention very weirdly that if they were working on a season two mid-2022, that they would start working on it. So I don't know if that means they are or not, but that's the last piece of information I've heard. But uh, basically, the rest of this unboxing is the books from this show. Because I literally picked up uh, basically, I think every single release, I could be mistaken on that, uh, for the English version of this manga series. From this warning label right here, remember, the bigger the warning label, the more fun it is. <laughs> and so, I'm kind of curious how, how, <laughs> how explicit is the manga? And how explicit is the uncensored version of the show? Because obviously from my online uh, stream of watching it, um, I can't, couldn't actually tell if it was the full-on explicit version, uncensored version of the show I watched, or a censored version of the show. Uh, because from the way people or the companies were describing the show, it seemed like this is like the worst thing in the terms of... Uh, of what you can possibly do in an animated or or movie or show like ever so <laughs> i am really butchering this book uh if i remember correctly so you read it from this side right so cover page so it'd be i think i could be reading this actually totally 100 percent but um because usually with these books, they actually tell you, yeah, chapter 11. Okay, so yes, it is. Uh... <laughs> ah, the things I just saw on this uh... <laughs> very briefly. Okay, so yes, you do in fact read it from, from this side. It's been a while since I've read any sort of manga or that. I think the last one I read was Claymore, and even then I, I still wasn't even finished that. So I actually, I still have to pick up the rest of the Claymore books. But uh, I also started picking up the Black Lagoon books because uh, I love those shows. But it's like, that's the thing about anime. It's like they start off with like, uh, they do like a first season, but then they might never do another season anime adaptation. So it's kind of like it's a it's a demo to get you interested in buying the original books. Yeah, no, no, I'm definitely, definitely gonna have to censor some of that. But, uh, yeah, so you can kind of guess, get the gist of, of the series just from, I mean, the, I, I think the covers was more than enough <laughs> going through it. But, yes, I picked up, so this is the second book. And, uh, I might not, oh, I was, Okay, so yeah, no, that's, 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 that's literally, that's absolute nudity. Yeah, okay. It is explicit. Like, it's not super explicit. I mean, unless I'm, it just so happens I'm skipping over the pages where it would be extremely, extremely explicit. But, um, yeah, no, they definitely, definitely a lot of frontal nudity. They seem definitely of uh, like anything anything below the waist is definitely uh what's what's the wording for it's like unintentional censor or natural censorship or something like that. It's where it's like for example if a character was standing in the forest naked there would be like a bush in front covering you know <laughs> the bits. Is that the... I'm trying not to get demonetized or future-proofing this to be monetized if I ever get back into the part, uh, YouTube partner program. And uh, I might be doing another interspecies reviewer-related video or two. So this is not going to be the one and only video on this. And uh, to give you a hint, it's not going to be an unboxing video. <laughs> and uh, I think that's all I'm going to say. And uh, I think I just decided I'm going to do that for my 300 subscriber video. Because I have passed 300 subscribers a couple, several months ago. 
and uh, I wanted to do something special. Yeah, that's just filth. Okay. <laughs> uh, I also don't really want to go scanning through this too much, just because I've I, I don't want anything really totally spoiled. So I because I'm curious to see how well this was adapted into the anime in a sense and it's like what are the changes is anything different is there stuff that they skipped over like i'm very curious in that sense so i think i'm going to stop right there for the free books but i'm i can sh show you very briefly there's the fourth one the fifth one the sixth one and this is actually i'll open up these ones because this is slightly a different series. So you got your main series of books, but then you got an anthology one, which is kind of, I guess, I would assume this is a spinoff. And it's kind of like, it's a collection of short uh, shorts and comics, and they are done by other talented Japanese artists. As I'm, I'm reading the back here. Granted, I've never watched any of those shows, or I mean, I've I've heard of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and yeah, no, that's the only one I actually recognize there. But uh, but I've never actually watched that show. Uh, what do you think I am? A fan of anime or something? Like, gosh. <laughs> And I'm sure you are too if you're still still watching this video. If you've made it this far in the video. Uh, Right in the comments. This is filth. Filth. Ah! Yeah, write that <laughs> in the comments if you've made it to this far in this video. Um. Okay. Yeah. No. Just nudity. Yeah. Um. Ooh. This one. Yeah. This one does that. 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 That definitely. Definitely definitely looked a, a lot more a lot more explicit than the the normal like just from glancing through the normal series this one does seem a little more turned up i guess would be a <laughs> terminology to describe this but um yeah this is the darkness the second one and so I got both of those. Bigger book one. Known as... Um, I guess they're just another spin-off. But the interesting thing is it's, it's, it's an even bigger book. Like, see, there's the, there's the normal book size compared to how big these ones are. So I literally went all out. <laughs> <laughs> blindly into this but uh let's open up just the first one just so you can get an idea if you haven't already gotten a good idea of uh what this uh book series is like okay i understand this is uh this is definitely a little more on the imagination side uh because this one's actually more book format see see books are good to read yeah you get to it's it's novel format of this and i wonder if it's it's telling a new story or is it actually just sort of a novelized version of what the show is or what the the manga is so it's like <laughs> a more high-end cultured one. Oh, they do they do have pictures in this as well every now and then it looks like but uh maybe i should read a random <laughs> Uh, a random should I, should I do that read a random passage okay so uh i've opened up the page 99 lizzie your weakness is your soft underbelly here ah no way mm, i'm coming okay that's enough that's enough quote for uh, one day um <laughs> thank you very much for watching and not only am i bringing myself down with this video but i'm also gonna bring down all my patreons and <laughs> addresses somewhere on screen along with randy bain's name <laughs> i'm sorry
Um, I am going to be updating, if or not, if I've already, if I haven't already done that, I've added on my unboxing videos to list the things that you will get an end credit name for. If you, depending on what tier you, uh, do for Patreon. I also use my Patreon for updates and stuff and behind the scenes photos, bonus videos, bonus stuff, uh, footage behind the scenes. Uh, I do that whenever I can. <laughs> so if you're interested, link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whenever. Once again, this video does not represent my entire YouTube channel or me. <laughs> well, it kind of does. <laughs>